Hi everyone, how are you all? Uh, I know I've been inactive for a couple of days now. It's because of my health and also there's been some work going on in the house. I've been very busy with that. Uh, so I'm back with the video again that most of you had requested. I had overwhelming response on the breastfeeding journey. Thank you so much. Um, and here I am with the most awaited video, the weaning journey. Uh, so uh, coming to the story, uh, my breastfeeding journey was amazing. I had no issues with it um, uh, after of course, several uh, experiences that I had, which I had shared earlier. If you had not seen that, please do watch it out. Um, after which, uh, after that episode, basically, I had no issues. We had a breeze. It was a breeze to feed her. Uh, and um, her solace journey was amazing. We did baby led weaning. And um, we had typically no issues uh, at all uh, with the breastfeeding and the solids. It was perfect. And the sleep was also okay. It was not like the worst and i was like okay until one year of course she needs support and i i was willing to do it uh at around one year is when her major milestone happened where she started daycare and that was the first time she was away from me for the longest period during the day and that helped us considerably drop our uh, feeding sessions during the day but this was only for the weekdays for the weekends she was still all in and she was feeding me on feeding on me like whenever she wanted in between solids just wake up anytime she was there so this was also fine uh, but around her 18 months uh, is when I was also you know feeling very weak and I didn't really want to continue breastfeeding. Um, I wanted to gradually wean her off uh, from what I read I thought it might take like six months uh, to wean her off. Uh, so I thought uh, I, I, I wanted to start it off so I at least by two years she would completely wean off from breastfeeding. Uh, once I had this thought in mind what we did is was to analyze what and when she is demanding my boobs uh, especially during the night is when i wanted to wean her off because at least during the day you know i'm i'm active and i, I can feed her one or two times it's fine but during the night it was getting over me and i i was also losing my sleep so i analyzed uh, her sleep pattern uh, to see when she is waking up and when she is for sure needing my boob to go back to sleep and when she can actually you know when is like the easiest spot uh, to you know swoosh her or you know pat her to help her go back to the sleep uh, she was waking up i think around um you know uh, 10 o'clock um one o'clock and then the four o'clock and then there's the wake up at seven or something and of course there was a uh, the nose to feed session that also happened so i analyzed this and then um, usually i was the one who was doing the bedtime routine uh, but uh, once i we decided that i we have to start this weaning journey my husband uh, uh, you know pulled up a sock and he uh, stepped in to do her bedtime routine and we stopped the nurse to feed session first for at least a week it was not a big change because the remaining feeds i continued to do so and i helped her sleep it happened as as, as it was happening before but the nurse to feed session was a no-go from her 18 month and we stopped it completely so once this worked out for for a week we identified that uh, her 10 o'clock uh, you know um, feed or the wake up is the easiest for us to handle her because at 12 or 1 when she wakes up it's a it's a nightmare for us she needs the boob she would cry and she would uh, you know scream for it she would she would not go back to sleep and and the four o'clock one was okay okay but still uh, more difficult than the 10 o'clock wake up so we decided that the 10 o'clock wake up is the next thing that we want to target what we did at 10 o'clock when she woke up is uh, one we tried to pat her it did not work out we tried to give her you know um, the milk in the sipper cup we we literally made her sit and we tried to give her that we tried to give her water and at one point she she she, she rejected at uh, and sometimes she did uh, drink it but at one point she was like okay this these these guys are not going to give me the you know breast milk so i'm just going to go back to sleep this happened for another week or so i think and um this 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 feed was also dropped so we were like happy from when she sleeps at seven o'clock she then wakes up at one o'clock that was a achievement itself for us when she woke up at one o'clock it was you know again uh, boobs and then she would go back to sleep this so at around 15 days we were able to drop two feeds and at night uh, she was waking up at one o'clock and four o'clock and then at maybe the wake up time so the next one was the four o'clock feed that we wanted to attempt because the one o'clock is something that we knew it was a, you know uh, uh, the toughest that we that we have to handle 
so the four o'clock when we handled it uh, what we did was to you know uh, uh, take her and sush her rock her and we tried to also give her water at that point but she wouldn't take it sometimes she would wake up earlier like she would she I mean, she would sleep next to us she would I mean, we would pat her and she would keep rolling 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 and but then she she would have a very disturbed sleep but and would probably have a very early wake up time which was fine but her boobs she didn't ask for it eventually in in a week again so in 3 weeks now we were able to drop 3 feeds and uh, at night at 1 o'clock is it was the toughest i knew that something that 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 is not easy to handle and that's the last that i would i i would want to wean i was at a stage where uh, i wanted to completely wean her off i didn't want to feed her anymore and my husband actually had a point wherein you know at yeah, if i if i if i were to feed her during the day she knows the the boobs is still available and suddenly at night i say her no it's not really matching uh, because when she wakes up she's actually wide awake and she knows what she's doing and she knows what we are doing so what i did was uh, again research to see what i can do for the you know day weaning part she was uh, on two feeds basically during the day uh, one early morning at around 7 when she wakes up and then one is when she comes back to uh, from daycare to home so at around 5 pm maybe so these two feeds were something that i wanted to drop next um that is when <laughs> this helped me i know this is something uh, not many moms have tried or i don't know if many moms have tried it uh, a small bandaid is what helped me so what i did was to stick it on my boob and when she asked me for the feed at 5 pm when she came back from the daycare i told her i got a hurt and i was having a boo boo so she understands what boo boo is uh, and uh, she saw me having a boo boo and she saw me saw this on my boob and she was like okay okay mom has boo boo okay because before that uh, we had some episodes where i had some small cut on my finger or on my thigh and then she also had some you know uh, small uh, wounds so she knows what boo boo is and she knows what it is to have a boo boo so that was an important thing that happened uh, because if, without that understanding from a child i don't think uh, this this method would will work out uh, so at 5 pm when she saw this she was like okay mama has this and then i had a very good snack for her mate and she had that and she was fine luckily she did not wake up at 1 o'clock that night and at 4 o'clock when when she woke up i was like you know she was wide awake and i told her mama has a boo boo i cannot feed you so you have to go back to sleep she went back to sleep happily she hug she said hug and she hugged me and went back to sleep that was like a turning point and uh, we had no idea this would happen like overnight uh, and i think uh, it also happened because we both were ready and we both were, were like you know transitioning slowly into this process my boobs never felt heavy because she didn't feed and uh, it was it was like a it, it was it just flew like water i would say and um, O- overnight she started sleeping uh, you know continuously and of course uh, during this 20 the the previous 21 days we did see some epido- episodes of uh, you know continuous stretches of sleep where she would not wake up and she would, she we knew she was for sure ready to sleep overnight without the boobs and um, yeah i think that that's how it happened uh, but after which uh, in um, the next couple of days after this whole weaning happened she did, she would come to me asking for mamam show so she says mamam when she wants milk so she did come to me asking for mamam but she would look at me she she would ask mama mamam oh mamam boo boo so this is what she she told me when uh, you know she wanted it so it it, it went into her head that mama has a boo boo and uh, you know she cannot feed any more and uh, that's how it ended uh, and uh, i am actually very happy i would say to have ha- ha- you know handled this this way because uh, i didn't really lie because i was i was weak yeah, so my boobs were weak i couldn't feed her anymore so the boo boo was not a lie and uh, i am very happy that i actually raised a very uh, compassionate and a very uh, you know uh, understanding child because she understood i am in pain and she weaned her weaned her off uh, from the breast uh, feed and uh, we both we were both at the same uh, time it it matched everything matched she was ready i was ready and this worked out so what i would say is first look at your child if your child is not ready it will not work out two your child has to understand what it is to have a bandaid and what it is to have a boo boo unless and un- until you cannot use this method this will never work out and three 
प्लीज डू इट एज अ वेरी वेरी स्लो प्रोसेस इट कैन नॉट हैपन ओवर नाइट यू कैन नॉट स्टे यू कैन नॉट फीड द बेबी लाइक टेन टाइम्स अ डे एंड देन स्टिक अ बैंडेड एंड देन से यू आई हैव अ बूबू एंड यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू फीड यू नो ऑल द टेन फीड्स इट हैज टू हैपन स्लो एंड स्टडी इट हैज टू ड्रॉप वन फीड एट अ टाइम ऑल्सो फॉर योर हेल्थ ऑल्सो फॉर द बेबीज हेल्थ एंड ऑफकोर्स आई थिंक emotionally it is a very very important thing that happened uh, for me and for her uh, maybe for her uh, she got distracted and she is playing and she is she has so many things to think about but for me it was a very emotional thing uh, my friends actually texted me saying you know after the weaning process it's emotional and you might have like a withdrawal symptoms or something i was feeling depressed i was feeling very sad that i couldn't feed her um, but i think uh, that's how uh, you know life is life has to move on and uh, for my betterment for for my uh, you know uh, health benefits i had to do this so yeah this is my story uh, do leave comments on how you are winning and what struggles you are facing may uh, and please do share this with uh, you know your friends and uh, family who are trying to win maybe they learned something from my story um yeah see you next time bye bye